Alright, I'm exporting the first video. Alright, I thought I, thought I didn't know if it would keep going. Um, Alright, so now I'm exporting the first video and we're going to get to the retopolizing, retopolizing, or whatever you call it. <laughs> Alright, so what you want to do is add a plane. I'm going to go into view perspective. Well, no. And then rotate on the X90. Bring it forward a little bit. And actually, I'm going to scale it. Scale it down pretty small. Now, turn this magnet icon on and go to face. So now, when you go into edit mode, it should connect to this model. So now you just move the polygons around. That's how you get the whole mesh. Now, I will personally admit that this method is kind of slow, although you can make the geometry any way you want. Uh, another method that I'm going to show you is I'm going to hide that. And just add a cube again. these up. Oh, I need to turn that off for the time being. Okay, so we have a box around it that is a bit bigger. So, what we're going to do is uh, W subdivide. I think about 263 or 488 vertices is enough. So now we're going to add a modifier and we're going to go shrink wrap. Target will be the uh, wait, plane. First of all, name this rock. And then this one will be rock low. Rock low. So target rock. as you can see it shrink wrapped onto there I don't know what this does but anyway uh, you can add more of these vertices or 
way you can keep it like this. It's hot. And I'd say that's pretty good because once we get the normal map on, you're not really going to care what that looks like. I mean, you can even go lower because from the side, it doesn't really matter. So, but I guess keep it under 200, but I got 400, so do half of what I did. So now apply that, and now we have this model, and then Alt-H, and the high one off. So, turn it. Alright, so we got high poly, low poly. High poly, high poly, low poly. Now, over here, we're gonna uh, we're gonna have to unwrap it now. So go to the UV image editor, make a new one. Call this rock. Um, normal. And one o two four by one o two four is fine. actually a really good unwrap. You see how all these are mainly squares? They're some kind of they're kind of rectangular right here, but it doesn't matter because we want mostly squares. And this is a really good unwrap. So right there you can see perfect. And with the UVs and then I like to skip right down a little bit just so the edges won't get jacked up. Yeah. Oh, go back to solid mode. Another thing you can do is display textured solid. And then if you go to the low poly, it'll look like that. It's kind of cool. <laughs> but anyway, uh, go to the bake settings. So the camera, and then go down to bake. You want to do normals. Selection to left. And tangent. First, select the high poly, then the low. And I think if we have bake, it should work. Give it a second. Because they're baking the high poly to the low poly. So high and then low. It's like the high first and then the low second. Yeah, that's taking a long time. <laughs> I'm gonna pause it until it clips to starts going. Okay, I think I'm recording again. I hope so. Uh, yeah. So the normal maps turned out really good. I'm gonna control up. I think that's good. It looks pretty good. I've had some problems with normal mappings in the past. If you can check my uh, my blog spot account, there's some stuff on it. 
but I don't know what these parts are right here. I'm kind of scared about those, but uh, we'll find out. So, uh, let me grab the high poly and hide it. Now we got the low poly, and I'm going to uh, add a new material, add a new texture, image removing. The not normal coordinates UV geometry normal color off. Now we should be able to go to GLSL texture mode, add a lamp, a point light. Yeah. Um, I'm going to set this to about 0.5, half of what it was. So now our low poly is looking pretty high poly. Now imagine that, but with a texture map underneath it, a detailed texture map, and we're in business. There you have a cube asset. Uh, what's that? Oh, huh. That's our uh, thing we made a long time ago. But yeah, there's a way to do it. I'm um, gonna quit this one and. Uh, I'll try and do the texturing one. If not, this is the last tutorial. Thanks for watching. Bye.